Good afternoon. We're on a bit of an, an epic. Oh, it's a little epic, an epi. We're on an epi. It's a bike packing trip along two of the region's most famous rivers, the Mataranya and the Algars. And it's a gravel adventure. So it's an overnighter and we're starting way up high which makes sense to me we're in the Terralta region which is a wine growing region here are the vines but it's also high up so there's a heck of a lot of wind turbines too it's quite a long way so I'm going to try and do as much of it as possible without the motor at all. Uh, just saving it for when, when I get tired, which uh, shouldn't be for a little while, because we're starting off with a, a rolling 20 kilometers of up and downs. I think this is my turning right underneath one of these monsters, but it's, uh, it's almost all gravel. So we're starting on the gravel, now I've been looking forward to this one for a really 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 long time and uh, I meant to go weeks and weeks ago but uh, one thing and another has meant that I've not even been on the bike and there's new things that I'm trying out with my bike packing rig so hopefully that won't go wrong but it all seems to make sense at the moment I've uh, for the first time I've actually got my my tent strapped to the front as well as all my rest of my sleeping kit which uh, comes to about four kilos so it definitely feels very sluggish the handlebars the steering but that's something I'll have to get used to other things to note sandals we've got a really really weird bit of weather going on yesterday it rained all day it wasn't an absolutely it wasn't the needed tons and tons of rain but it consistently fell which actually means that a lot of today could be somewhat awkward because we're following these two rivers there are quite a lot of river crossings well the Mataranya there are three fords and on the Algars there are 11 crossings five bridges six fords and I've no idea if they're actually going to be passable the fords with an e-bike so one of the reasons why I've got the sandals on is if necessary I pick up this massively heavy bike with all the kit on it and uh, carry it across the river most of today is completely new to me <coughs> so we might get lost a bit walking already this <coughs> is not only <coughs> excuse me a memorial it's also a cemetery but I believe this bit is an Iberian village it is, it's one narrow and two slightly underwhelming yes I should be riding it and the steps down I know I know yeah I don't think we're gonna dally it always surprises me that they always use the same sites. This is an Iberian village circa 600 BC and it's still being used the site as the uh, cemetery for the local village Bilalba des Arcs. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. You get a niche there's not really uh, burials so much here and there's also a hermitage here which is the other reason why we were coming to take a look it's all very nice lots of crosses often the hermitages are well they are used for religious purposes but they're often used just um, for like a festival most used for a festival so you'd have a, like a 
saints they i can't get on my bike the uh seat pack is rather higher than usual i'm struggling to get to get my leg over should be a lovely view of the village <laughs> not seen this before this it says take your selfie so you can put your mobile phone in that sideways press timer run and get in that shot which i don't know if you can see but is a series of endless uh, hairpins don't really need them all i think it's mostly for dramatic effect but, uh, it should be good fun Steering is very heavy. I did think long and hard about putting the tent out the front there. But it's, uh, it's quite bulky and there's not really that many other places for it. It's too wide to go on in the frame. What a lovely little road down. <laughs> I bet someone's got this as a Strava segment. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, what is it? What would you call this? An arcade? Look at these Italian Cypress. Aren't they lovely? Wow. So, despite my last video telling you about all the easy ways to get a free charge when you're touring on an e-bike, I haven't brought my charger quite deliberately. So it's more of a test to see how far I can go with a very little amount of assist. This is La Pobla de Masaluca. It's a new tarmac. We have been here once before. So I remember pulling in and showing you this view. Finding the uh, bike picks up even more quickly than usual because of the extra weight. It seems very strange to be taking these descents easy. But what I did remember about these tyres I don't know whether it's because they've got novels on the side or whether they're running at such a low pressure compared to what I'm used to. They feel very unsure in corners. We're just coming down to an area where there was a huge forest fire uh, about two years ago. We've already had several forest fires this year already. This is the reason why we don't like uh, wild camping here in Spain. They basically just don't trust people with fire. I'm not saying this was caused by campers. It was probably caused by a farmer. Which is why I'll, I've not got no. I've got no cooking kit with me. And this is the. in and out of Aragon I don't know how many times it's the last bit of tarmac you'll be seeing for some considerable time something like 85 kilometers now of gravel is 
very bumpy. I've only done about two kilometres. <laughs> the elf. My uh, undercarriage is going to be in tatters. This is absolutely spectacular country. And uh, at the moment the trail is, is playing along and it's quite level. Bumpy, but not up like I expected it to be. And I think we're coming up to our first ford. So I've got my fingers crossed that it's bone dry. You've probably got your fingers crossed that it's anything but. So let's have a look. This is the one where I used this on my on my intro for a few months. Not a lot that way. And not a lot that way. What's that doing here? Who's it for? These cliffs are they fantastic. some of these I'm imagining are sand martin nests there's absolutely hundreds of them along this stretch here And rear wheels slipping with the enormous power I'm putting down. to the bustling metropolis of Non-Aspe. Population. A bit of washboard on there, which is always unpleasant. Very, very, very good stuff, right? I hate it. Don't mind when it's like in the channel here. Really loose stuff, I really don't like. Oi oi! It echoed as well. Swarming with swallows. So we're just a few kilometres outside of Non Aspe now. And this river that we're looking at isn't the Mataranya, but that bit of river is. This is where the, the Algars comes in here. Just on the other side, on a very gentle fork, is the Mataranya. Because the Mataranya was longer to this point, it continues its name and the Algars loses it. I'm just going to pop into uh, Nana Space if I can fill up my water bottles. So we should be going down there, but we're not, we're going to go up to the town. The Algars everywhere else with an R. Here they've dropped the R and it's the Algas. Got some water. I don't know if this is the right place for you. Water. I have completely lost track of how many crossings we've done. There's another. Stopping for a little quick 
bite to eat. Just realised I need to take my medication too. Oh, that's lovely. What a lovely spot. And the dusty bottom afterwards. A couple of cereal bars that have set me straight for the next couple of hours. Yet another crossing. So I'm actually going to go along the riverbed for a bit. This is absolutely spectacular out here. The sun's going down as well now, which makes it even nicer. So many crossings. It's a small bridge. It's very high. Alternatives to this bit. <laughs> this is looking very familiar to that one there. Whoa. Oh, there's a pothole there. It's got ruts on it. It'll do us. Yeah. We got stuck in a reed bed. At least that was only five yards, the other one was many more. This is sort of the track isn't it? I suppose. Right now. Big Garmin. It says straight on. There is no straight on. Things are just very tracks aren't they? Need to turn left. What's left? A hayfield is left. Well, I've got no option but to try and follow it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. It dares wins. Get back on the saddle, that's the primary thing. Are you seeing there is a sort of a track, isn't there? This is a track. I never. Oh yeah, this is us. <laughs> oh, that is tricky. Oh, nearly come off. There's a ditch on the right there. All those plants growing in a ditch. Wait. Oh. Ah, no way. I can't go down there. If you're wondering, that's about 60% steep. Now, down to 45. Ooh. It smells lovely. Fennel. I think we've lost whatever track we might have been following originally. There's nothing here now. Oh, sounds all good. This one's all in my toes. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow, 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 ow. I don't know what's going to go on the opening credits of this one. I can't see any way out. Right, I'm only going to a big bit like this. Just come off. This is beginning to look like it's got two tracks like a car once came up here. Let's hope so, I want to get out of this ASAP. No, no, my personal notes say cross there. Don't want to. Thank you. I'm going to try something else, a bit steep. Hard. I'm not saying it's over, but I think it's over. 
I've got to say, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly pissed off. Yeah, I'm on my phone, which means the SIM card is full. I'm supposed to have about 90 minutes of footage. I haven't shot 90 minutes. I've shot 40 minutes maybe, and it's full. And we're not even at the end of day one yet. We haven't seen any castles. We haven't seen any of the groovy things. But we have got a road that's going in vaguely the right direction. I don't know how I'm going to complete this video. No idea at all. Right, well I've found a track. Only it's telling me to go that way. Which is great, doesn't it? Only I want to go that way. I'm losing the light. I've got about an inch and a half. <laughs> got an inch and a half before the sun disappears behind the hills. Because we're in a valley, so it's going to disappear early. I think I'm going to press on for about half an hour more, see where I end up and just camp wherever I can. There's a ghost village. I don't want to camp in the ghost village, but the ghost village is about right. That's a big fox. Um, sorry, fox running across the field in front of us. I can't see it in a minute. Well, it'll be gone. Um, I'm wittering. Yeah, there's a ghost village, a completely abandoned village called Pineres. And I was going to show you, I am going to show you it, but I didn't necessarily want to show you it at night. <laughs> it's one of the interesting spots of the uh, of the trip. We're definitely going there. Um, like I say, it's according to that sign, that way, it's only seven and a half kilometres. But it should be that way. Let's go and find it. We'll find it anyway. I just wanted to show you this. It's our track. Well, I think it's our track. It could, That could be our track down there. But I like this one better. That's the one we're going on. It's going in the right direction and everything. This track has been really fantastic. It's been up and down and up and down. And then seconds later, the road just ends. That's a field, ploughed field. That's a cliff. That's a house. And the only option is out this way. I'm actually having some luck. It's a track. It's running parallel to the Algars, albeit some way away. It's not on a map that I can see. Is that what you think it is? But that was walking along quite happily when I first came out. You can just see he's just, he's got his head out there. Hello mate. I almost feel like helping him across the road, but he doesn't want to be across the road, surely you want to be next to the river. Right, well. That was eventful. <laughs> I'm just about to lose the sun. Ooh. There it is. There it is. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm in a, an almond orchard. It's the best I could do. Uh, so I'm right next to the river as well. It's just down below me. Absolutely as dry as a bone here. And I've got around 100 kilometres to do tomorrow. And most of it is gravel. I cannot believe how things just went today. It was just so slow. The road was so bad. Well, you saw how bad it got. Absolute nightmare. Anyway, uh, I'm going to pitch now. Uh, I'll probably have a little chat with you again before I go to bed, which will be a little while yet. Uh, but that'll do for now. All set up, ready to, uh, well, eat, sleep, and do a lot of editing. It's actually a lot darker than it looks. It's, um, well... Got a lovely sunset going on through the trees just there. That's the river. We're in a, a very remote spot. It's about half a mile from the abandoned ghost village. It's not really the ghost somewhere, it bugs as well. Covered in bug stuff, but um, not doing much good. I'm a bit concerned because uh, there are animal trails all over the place. I've tried to avoid them. But there's a tree right there, and that damage around the base is uh, caused by boar. It doesn't look like it was in the last couple of nights, but even so, it's uh, <laughs> that'll be interesting if we get some sniffly snufflies going on in the night. Anyway, like I say, I'm going to eat, and I'm going to edit, and I'm going to sleep. So unless something else is going to exciting happens, I shall see you in the morning. I'm just lying here, listening to the frogs and the nightjar, and it's just so peaceful.
peaceful and lovely. And I don't know why I don't do this more often. I really should. So I will. So expect to see me in a small tent a bit more often on the channel. And with that, good night, and we'll see you in the morning. I just got.